today is coop cleaning day. We try to do this once a week now that we have 20 hens and two roosters. It does get a little messy and then after rain it definitely gets a little more messy. We do put sand on the outsides of the coops to help with the rain. But as you can see it's a little bit of a mess but it's a, a chore of love. They give us eggs and we take care of them. Of course, the ducks come out to see what's going on. Once I get it cleaned out best I can, I'll use the TSC pine shavings. I think they're four, four and a half dollars a bag. About half a bag fits in there real nice in the nesting boxes on the floor and they do have the roosting posts that they usually sleep on anyway. One thing I uh, also like to do, if you can see, just a little bit of the powder there. I sprinkle a real light uh, helping of diatomaceous earth in here and then kind of <laughs> spread it around uh, to thin it out so it's not big clumps. But I do that to help with the insects. Uh, um, seems to do just fine. I, I know the um, chickens will eat them. But we use this for our ducks as well to keep their coop nice and clean.
few mama hens, making sure it's nice and orderly for them, huh? I'll <laughs> clean these up over here. and they seem to all pile up on there. So I'm gonna add one more just to give them another roosting bar, nesting bar, whatever you want to call them. I was just adding another roosting bar up here and somebody decided to come visit. Make sure it's all okay, huh? These Rhode Island Reds uh, we've only had the first batch two or three weeks and the second batch just a few days But they are actually temperament wise very friendly We do have the buff Orpingtons who are friendly as well, but uh, Overall, I'm pleased with these little guys. I should say girls. Sorry <laughs> So I'm putting up the other nesting bar and this one decided to jump up on my back so how you doing, lady? Hmm? Let me let you down here. You want to come down this way? Ugh. Okay. So she's just going to stay on my back. It's kind of hard to put up another nesting bar this way, lady. Yep. Can you climb down? Yeah. Can you climb down? Or are you just gonna stay on my back? Okay. Didn't realize you're gonna be like a pet bird. <laughs> so we got fresh waters, fresh coops. Another nesting bar up top. I think it's approved. And again, these tie downs, we've had these when we used them as mobile chicken tractors. Uh, the wind lift them and launch them across the yard and destroy them. Uh, well, damage them very severely. But uh, we bought these tie downs, trampoline tie downs. And we had wind gusts, I think up to 60 the other night and 40 mile per hour winds for almost two days and they hadn't budged one bit so thank the lord that when they did get launched around the yard that we didn't have any meat chickens in there at the time but this is a routine that we'll do usually once once a week with the coops uh, if you have any other thoughts or ideas please let me know below it's our first go around with the chickens we do have the ducks but uh researched many things on sand for a bedding versus pine definitely don't do cedar um, but uh yeah if you have any thoughts or ideas that might help me out on the flooring system uh, let me know thanks for watching